conservative new media viewers and Jeremy Lin fans around the world. What's going on? We're here to recount Houston's 100-82 to victory tonight over the New Orleans Hornets in New Orleans, Louisiana. With the victory, Houston improves to 23-22 and on the season. They have won one game in a row, and the Hornets dropped to 14-29 and on the year. This game was a lot better than last night. You guys know how I felt about the game last night and just how disappointed I was in that game and just I wasn't sure what was going on. This game was a lot better than that. James Harden had a big night. We definitely had some beard sanity. He had 30 points. Patrick Patterson had an excellent night with 18 points and 13 rebounds. Patrick gets a lot of grief for not being good at rebounding. He definitely came up big tonight on the boards, and uh, that really helped the Rockets. Jeremy played an excellent game. We will talk about that in just a second. And finally, um, Austin Rivers played 20 minutes tonight in this game for the Hornets. Uh, I'm sure Austin Rivers is a good guy. I believe he is the son of Doc Rivers, the coach of the Boston Celtics. But right now, Austin Rivers isn't a really good NBA player. So if Austin Rivers is on your team and he plays 20 minutes, that's probably not a game you're going to win. And that's what happened to the Hornets tonight. I'm not saying they lost because of Austin Rivers. It's more that the fact that he played that many minutes means that the Hornets probably didn't do that well, and they didn't. Um, Okay, Jeremy had 13 points, 5 rebounds, 8 assists in 37 minutes. He shot 3 out of 6 from the field. He hit one out of three three three-pointers. He was six of eight from the free throw line. He had six steals, one block shot, four turnovers. He was plus minus was plus 17, which was the best on the team. And his efficiency number was 24, which is very good. Uh, This was right on the verge of a Linsanity 2.0 performance. I think if Jeremy would have gotten a 15 points, I would have given this a Linsanity 2.0, but it wasn't quite there in terms of the points. So this is now the eighth straight game in which Jeremy has not crossed the Linsanity 2.0 threshold, at least in my opinion. Um, Jeremy just played a smart game tonight. He, He was efficient. He did a really good job drawing fouls. He just pretty much stayed within himself. He didn't do he didn't try to do too much. And he just he played an intelligent game and it worked out. Let's go through some of the, the quarter by quarter stuff. Early in the first quarter, Jeremy made a left arc about twenty five degrees to the left three pointer from a James Harden assist, just a catch and shoot. It was great. Excellent way for him to kind of start off the game and get into a rhythm. Then soon thereafter, he drove to the left side of the basket, the left side of the lane, got fouled, shot two free throws, made them both, and he had the first five points of the night for Houston. Now, soon thereafter, Jeremy had another one of those turnovers where he traveled before he started to dribble. He's been having this issue a little bit in the last few games. You know, he he, he moves his feet like he's going to make a move before he starts dribbling. I'm not sure what that is. Probably just eager to make his move. And uh, I'm sure that'll go away soon. And sometimes guys get that. Uh, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, but it, he has been getting a couple of those recently. In the middle of the first quarter, we got another one of the Jeremy Lin half-court passes. This one was to Chandler Parsons, who was in traffic when he caught the pass, and he scored a lefty layup. And then soon after that, Jeremy did another one to Chandler Parsons, who was by himself for a little, just an easy layup. So got a couple more of the... uh, the long Lynn passes for, for easy Houston baskets. Early in the second quarter, Jeremy had a really nice pass to Chandler, who was in traffic, and but he had a, a, a pretty sweet dunk. It's a pretty nice dunk. That'll probably end up in the highlights. I think that was on the right side of the basket. Um, then also early in the second, Jeremy drove to the lane. He 
he had a wide open lane on the left side and he drove pretty strong and pretty aggressive and he he went up to shoot a left-handed shot which is what you should do you know i've mentioned before that he needs to finish with his left hand but i think maybe he overthought it or he might not have gotten his feet uh, steps properly sometimes when you're doing a layup especially when you're doing it quick, you don't get the right steps. Like you're, you're not where you want to be when you're shooting the basket, uh, when you're shooting the basketball. And that's kind of what it looked like with Jeremy on that. It's like he went up, he shot left, but it, I think he was like too far out or too far under the basket when he shot it. And it just, it was too hard off the uh, backboard. It like didn't hit the rim. It just kind of clanged off. Everything was good about it. The drive was good. Shooting with your left hand was good, but it just, uh, like I said, it was too hard, which made me think that he might have gotten his steps wrong in terms of, of uh, shooting the basket. Um, in the middle of the second quarter, General Grievous Vasquez was uh, starting to get upset because Jeremy was doing well and and Grievous wasn't doing well. And... Um, he went at Jeremy to try to get a, a basket against him. He missed, and then Jeremy got the rebound, I think. It went in transition to the left side of the rim, missed the layup, but he got fouled, and he shot two, two shots. This was good. Tonight, Jeremy really got the better of General Grievous. I mean, he really outplayed Grievous Vasquez. So much so that there are unconfirmed rumors that General Grievous has been demoted to private Grievous after this one. <laughs> no, that's, that's just a joke, of course. Um, but this was good to see. Uh, and, and Grievous was pretty unhappy at different points of this game because Jeremy was clearly outplaying him. Clearly outplaying him. So uh, definitely a good sign. Definitely a good sign from tonight. Um in the middle of the second, Jeremy had a turnover. He was trying to throw a lob pass to Omer Ashik. Um, it wasn't a bad pass. It wasn't a perfect pass. But again, I mean, Omer is not great at catching passes. It's just something he's going to have to keep working at. Uh, I know there was a pass sometime in this game on a pick and roll. James Harden basically threw the ball to Omer. And, I mean, it was... It was pretty good, and Omer just, you know, it just kind of bounced off of his hands or something, went out of bounds, and Harden wasn't happy. You know, look, Omer's doing the best he can. It's just not something he's good at right now, and we know that it costs guys assist. Houston sometimes misses or loses chances at easy baskets because of that, but, you know, Omer's a work in progress. He's young like all the rest of the guys are young. He's been playing defense primarily in Chicago. He does have offensive ability, but he's going to want to keep working on his ability to catch passes and anticipate passes. So that was another instance of that issue came up here in the middle of the second when Jeremy tried to throw him the ball. Um, Late in the second quarter, Jeremy was driving the basketball from right to left. He went across the top of the lane, turned the corner, you know, going went, you know, from the left side of the basically the top of the lane, turned the corner towards the basket, hit a nice little short runner at the rim. Really good move. Uh, it's an instance where he kept the dribble. He kept dribbling, waited, 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 and then he saw an opening and he took it, hit a nice little shot for, for two points. Also late in the second, he got doubled on the pick and roll on the left side of the arc, close to like the left side three-pointer, maybe 20 degrees off the top of the left. But he didn't give up his dribble, even though he got double teamed there. A lot of times you'll see Jeremy give up his dribble when he's double teamed on pick and roll, but he didn't do that there. That's a really good sign. That's He's getting smarter and smarter about not giving up his dribble. And... I think it led to a Houston basket. Maybe he got like a a pass that led to an assist, but that was smart of him. He's getting calmer and calmer in these situations, and uh, the more he 
gets used to seeing different defenses and different techniques against him, it's getting easier for him. He's getting, um, he's making better decisions. Um, then soon thereafter that, also late in the second quarter, Jeremy got a steal. Then he went coast to coast, and he was found on a layup attempt driving to the right side. He had a really nice surge there late in the, in the quarter, right before halftime, where he just kind of, again, you'll see these little bursts, and uh, he had one of those late in the first half. Um, also, as I said, I really was impressed with how Jeremy drew fouls tonight. He had eight free throw attempts. That's basically during Linsani 1.0, he was shooting about seven free throw attempts a game. So that gives you a sense of how well it did tonight, getting eight free throw attempts. If he's able to, to get back to that level, his scoring will definitely go up con, con, considerably. So, I mean, he only shot six times tonight. So, you know, but he got 13 points because of the free throw. So that's very good. Very good. Late in the third, um, he another drive to the rim, right side of the lane. Uh, he did a hesitation. He, he, he drove, stopped, hesitated, kind of pump faked up, got the defender off his feet, and then, you know, Basically, the guy's hanging over you. You jump up into him, and you get a foul. Did that. That was another two two shots that he got there. Um, again, but he's not getting pounded on these fouls either. We talk about him. We don't want him taking these huge hits. He knocked to the ground, and it wasn't happening tonight. So even though he was able to get the fouls, he did it in a way that didn't really put his body at risk, and that was good. Also late in the third, he had a great steal on an inbounds play. New Orleans was inbounding the ball and Jeremy stole the ball went the full length of the court with one of the guys from New Orleans trailing him and he was on the right side of the, of the court dribbling and then he went and finished reverse on the left side and he did that so that the guy behind him couldn't block the shot that was a really really smart play that was about 11 seconds left in the quarter and that was probably the best play of him for the game just making the steal, full court, understanding the guy's trying to block your shot, put it up under on the other side of the rim so that the guy can't get to the shot. That was a great play. Finally tonight, we got to see Jeremy play in the fourth quarter. After two straight no plays in the fourth quarter of the last two games, he played tonight, and he played, he played pretty well. There was um, one play in the middle of the fourth quarter where it was – Harden and Lynn, and basically James Harden set a pick for Lynn. It's kind of a high pick and roll. I think about the top of the key, and it was designed for Jeremy to drive to the basket on the right side, and he did that. But Ryan Anderson did a really good job helping out on defense, and Jeremy was stuck about midway down the lane, and then he did the pivot move where he reverses, and then he did it again, but then he got stripped. So, that yeah, it was a mistake. I mean, he, he still has things he has to work on, but um, it was a good play. Harden was trying to help him out, trying to get him so he could score a little bit more. And, uh, look, Ryan Anderson did a good job on pick and roll defense. Got to give him credit there, but it's something that, that Jeremy will continue to work on. Again, his moves and finishing against big men, but uh, that one didn't work out there. So, that was another one of his turnovers for the night. Okay, that's about it. The summary here was this was an excellent win after the debacle yesterday against the Denver Nuggets. Tomorrow, Houston is playing at home against the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn played tonight, and they got crushed by Memphis, which means either they'll be a little bit flat for tomorrow or they're going to have a lot of energy for tomorrow, and they didn't put too much energy out tonight. We'll find out how that worked. Again, Jeremy was very good very good in this game. It's good. He played steady, played smart. And the best thing about tonight, as I mentioned, was he got fouled but didn't get punished in getting fouled. And that's good. Now, just a couple quick uh, comments. Just to people, I want to thank the person, I, I don't remember your name, who put up the information that Greg Smith had. His son was born. And that's why I missed the game the other day because I didn't know about that. So I appreciate that you put that up. Now, people are complaining about the videos again. 
I know. Oh, you, you love, you know, you could have married Jeremy Lin. Blah. Look, these videos are intended for Jeremy Lin fans. They're basically the game seen through the eyes of Jeremy Lin. And there's a lot of people that are Jeremy Lin fans all over the world. We like Jeremy Lin a lot. But it's not because we think Jeremy Lin's the, the greatest star of the NBA universe, but these videos are made for his fans. So we talk about the whole game, but it's kind of with the focus on Jeremy Lin. No, I'm not going to marry Jeremy Lin. I don't think I'm Jeremy Lin's type. Just uh, just off the top of my head. <laughs> you know, so uh, I think Lin Amo said this. <laughs> What you said is right. It's important not to get too high or too low after each game. I, mean, I was on Clutch Fans the other day, and I thought I was mad about the game yesterday. I mean, it's – look, and it's good. I mean, it's fan. You know, fan is short for fanatic. People get really into it and watching the games and stuff. But, I mean, some of these people, it's like you got to change everything after one game. You know, or, or Jeremy should be traded or benched or, you know, for, for one game or two. That's that's ridiculous. The reason why I was upset yesterday was because it was different than the rest of the games for me. There's games you're going to lose games. I mean, and Denver's a good team. But it, the effort was so bad. It, it just it just looked like the third quarter and the fourth quarter, they, they just didn't have any effort. And when you see that, it's like, well, what's going on here? You know, is there something going on here? Especially when I heard that rumor about Mikhail supposedly maybe getting fired and the losing streak. Then it's like, well, you know, maybe there's more here than than what we're seeing. And it's like I said, they, I, I don't think they played that hard. And they kept turning the ball over. It was like, it's just ridiculous how it was happening. So, I uh, to me, it just didn't feel like the rest of the games of this year, even the, the games that they lost. It just felt like something different. And Look, maybe it's just a young team, and it's around the All-Star break, and their focus is a little bit scattered. Okay, that's fine. Look, they played well tonight. Good. Now we can put that all to bed. So it's just that, like I said, that's just reacting to what I saw yesterday. Um, finally, just I read all the comments. I've not had the chance to answer a bunch of comments. I'm still not feeling that well. I don't know if that flu or whatever, but whatever it is, I just can't get rid of it. So my energy isn't that great, but I'm reading everything everybody's saying, and I appreciate it. And like I said, I mean, when I have the opportunity, I will definitely answer them and um, and communicate with you guys as much as, 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 as uh, I can. That's it. That's what it's all about. All right. That's it for tonight. Your comments below, thumbs up, thumbs down on this video. We will have all the information in the video description below the video player for game highlights, box score, game stories. Also, how you can come and join the Conservative New Media Facebook group, which is right around 2,500 members now and growing all the time. I am Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative New Media. We strive to be the number one Jeremy Lin YouTube fan channel. Hope everybody's having a great night or a great day wherever you are across the world when you watch this video. Take care. We will talk to you again tomorrow night when Houston takes on the Brooklyn Nets.